E is 6.15, 6.11-ish um, on March 1st, 2021, and I'm making this video. Shout out to my homeboy Friday guy. He's always tapping in with me. And I updated my um, scanning um, system. Sorry, you guys looking at that. But yeah, I, I updated how I scan. And so I, I was uh, kind of basically making the 2021 version of, of what I change and how it's evolved. So yeah, I'm just kind of take you guys with me on the process. So for starters, I use a, um, let me share this with you. I'll go like this. I use uh, this system entitled Scans. Um, I love their scanner. And my scans are really basic, man. I mean, I, I'm probably not even getting the best out of this, but it works for what I need. Okay. And so I have a uh, scan called Listed Stock Scans. And basically what I'm looking for are stocks that um, are under $17, stocks that are greater than uh Basically, nothing over 17 and and greater than a dollar. I don't really like anything under a dollar. Um, and I'm looking for at least a million in volume pre-market um, and then a percentage change of 17 percent or more. And that's literally it. OK, that's all I'm looking for because um, I'm looking to be on movers. Then I hit scan now and. It'll bring up what they have. And I'm going to show you something that's important to me. OK, so we can, of course, see it brings up the, the stocks. I love this because I can find out the catalyst. The other thing that I'm always looking for is catalyst. OK, and so you can see here the news. So you click on the news. Right. And I can find out why this stock is moving. And I love this. You see, click here. It says announces positive interim data. OK, good. OK, then announces 18 million private placing. Now, this is this is strange to me. I don't like stocks. I don't let me say I don't like I don't trade any kind of offering any kind of merger offering merger private placement all that equals to me is dilution and dilution equals that somebody got the stock way cheaper than what it is and at any given time can dump okay and that creates a problem so what's cool about this is i can see the news so we got news the symbol company name um, and when i click on news it takes me directly to the news um, and then bid ask at the moment last the chain net change and then change percentage. OK, so we can see what percentage this is changed and you can see everything is above 17 percent because that's what I asked for. Um, now, the next thing, two things are very key. Volume, of course, and then trades. I always look at how many trades I'm looking for something that is traded at least 15,000 times or more. I usually look at 2020 as usually my base. So even though these are up, you know, I'm not really going to look at these because the, I'm going to look at them on the chart, but I'm not going to be willing to trade them unless these trade at the trade amount sparks above <clears throat> 20,000. And the reason for that is because the liquidity is not near as, as the same as something that has 20,000 trades or more. So I'm looking for something that has is moving. It's got volume. It's got a catalyst. And it's got liquidity. People there are trading it, not not a couple of whales. I, I want all kind of people at this party. And so that's the reason why, uh, you know, I keep the trades in here in my scans. And I love this. This really allows me. I, I steer so I steer clear so much BS because of this. And so this is really uh, helped, if you will, my trading like tenfold. I, I, I can't say enough how scans has helped me. OK, so. That's kind of basically what I do. So now I'm going to just go through here and just look at news. So this is the latest news on eCore. OK, good. A distri distribution agreement. That's good. That's really good news. OK, that's something that I'm willing to trade. So I'll add them. SOS. Responsive misleading short distributions. Chinese blockchain. Deny short service Chinese blockchains. OK, so this is kind of some weird news about short sellers and the Chinese companies. The Chinese companies play by different rules. So you kind of always got to be wary with them, but it's no big deal. You, know, you just got to understand what's going on. Here's one, uh, a material definitive. Let me see. I'm going to click on this to see what this is. And here's the article when you click on it. OK, this is like a merger, so I'm good. Uh, yeah, I don't want no parts of that. 
Um, so, so far we can do ecore SOS. This one is out. Let's see, APEN. Okay, this is good news. All right, I can live, live with them. Now I'm going to check the news on these in case they get going later, but I'm not going to be running off the market at the open to play these. Okay, so that's cool. No bad news there. PLXP. FDA approval. Okay, I'm liking that. And okay, this is a merger. I'm good. Okay, so I can. These are the playable stocks: PLXP, FRSX, APEN, SOS, and Ecor. The rest of these, I don't care what Aslan is doing. I don't care that it's the highest traded. It it basically it did a, a private placement just last Friday. Um, so I, I will look at that and see. Yeah, 352 per share. And the thing is at six dollars, that means everybody that got in at that cheap price, they can dump whenever they want. And I'm good. I don't, I've been a part of those. So that's why I don't trade them. And I can tell you, I can assure you this. Please see me when I say this. My trading went up tenfold when I stopped trading mergers. I stopped trading offerings, private placements. When, when I, when I recognize that those are traps, I stopped trading them. Profits went through the roof. Okay, because my biggest losses came from either an offering or a merger. This is all dilution. And they might go with a spike in the morning and then just sell it off hard because they, they got into the cheap price, which I would do too. I'm not mad at them for it. It's just that they're not getting my money. Okay, so now it's time to just go over here and I'm going to just show you the next phase, which, oh, sorry, that's my class. <laughs> Uh, so here we go. Um, uh, this is my crypto stuff that I've been looking at, but I'm going to go back over to my regular deal here. And we want to go to the 15 minute time frame and hit on this. Okay. Now these are all of the recent runners from last week. I'm just going to simply delete these because I'm not trading any of them. And what I'm going to do is add them in. Um, from the other deal. Okay, so it's E Core SOS APEN. Okay, so now we got the, the stocks that we're looking at. Now I'm just going to go size them up. And the first thing I do is um, I used to put, you know, I used to go with the lines looking at the high volume candles. I still do that, but I do it in a different way. I just literally line up the pitchforks, man. And this has been, this has been gold for me. Um, okay, so I'm seeing here this one is pretty much already kind of exhausted itself, but it is what it is. Um, SOS, ah, this is actually not a really good mover, but it's on there for today, so let's just get it for home so we know what we're willing to do. Yeah, this one doesn't look too promising. APEN. Most of them look like they pretty much gave up the ghosts already. Good morning, Camille. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so we got an MA hold out of play on this one. That's probably going to be a move. Uh, FRSX. So, yeah, I mean, my kids, they get up early. You know, the beautiful thing about all of this is I'm able to trade and make really good money from home with my kids. I don't ever have to send them anywhere or go get a babysitter or none of that, man. This is one of the other things I love about trade. So, so first of all, FRSX is looking like one of the more promising plays because it can drop right here to the second green line, which is my favorite play. Um, and then the MAs are following, so... That's a that's gonna be of interest for me <clears throat> out the open. P O X P. No, I'm actually cutting this one. This one don't even look good at all. Okay, so for the, for the most part, that is the process. I'll go through. I'm gonna go back and and swim through these, but you know, I go through and look on here, and then just F Y I, what I do is as as the day goes, I keep this open. It'll keep bringing things that meet my criteria. So I'll see any new movers that jump onto the board uh, that fall within the range of the of the criteria that I set. Um, so like I said, I was just making this video real quick. This is kind of an update to my pre-market process. Uh, Friday guy asked me, 
some questions, and I really like to interact with, with those that that do <clears throat> ask, you know, pertinent questions and and and, and uh, you know want to learn some of the things that I do, or just kind of want to see. It's just informative. But anyhow, you guys enjoy. I'm gonna prepare now. I got three markets, three markets, three minutes, actually eight minutes before the open, and I gotta go back and look at these charts again and see which ones. Yes, and see which one that I. I am willing to actually play. All right, good luck to you traders out there. And again, remember, this is a disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This is just me informing folks of what I do if they were curious and wanted to learn. All right, see you later.